Man, on some real shit, it's kind of crazy to me that like I'm really out here in Houston. We really decided to move out here in Houston, uh, and that this is my everyday gym. Like it's it's kind of crazy. I, like I was just sitting like, damn, we really about to be like spoiled with the gym and just a lot of stuff right now. Uh, it's just crazy, man. Like <laughs> you feel me? Like this is everybody. This has been like a uh, this is a new, you know, Mecca. This is the Southern Mecca of fitness right now. And this is my main gym. And, you know, I appreciate all the support for the years and stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I made this decision to be out here. We mutually made the decision to be out here because we thought it would be best for our brands. She has friends out here. I have a whole bunch of friends out here and a whole bunch of friends that travel through here just for this gym, so. We, um, hopefully this is the the exact move we needed to take our lives a step further. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy FB Aftermath back with another video for you guys. Today we at Alpha Land. We shooting for Alpha Lee. If you didn't know, your boy is a part of Alpha Lee. So go ahead and use code Aftermath. I'll show you some behind the scenes. We're gonna get a workout in, we're gonna vlog. And then tomorrow, we move into our new apartment. We gonna be official Texans, but still a Dallas Cowboys fan. So you already know. But here's some behind the scenes, man. Go ahead and sit back, relax, watch this video, and enjoy. to go work out but I'm like nah bro I'm about to hit the bed I need to go lay down is this an exit a that's a storage room <laughs> exit over there I bet oh it's a exit I'm over here I'm stupid it just say exit right here and I didn't even see that but yeah like I said bro I ain't about to try to work out right now after about a two hour nap got some leftovers from yesterday um, some lamb, some wonderful Brussels sprouts, and mac and cheese with bacon in it. About to go get a workout in. An actual workout. I mean, I went to go work out earlier, but I feel like it was. Mm. So, I hit some back and maybe like a little bit extra legs. Maybe like deadlift or something. Mm. Man, y'all, I damn near. I damn near live here now. <laughs> like just a second home for real like I'm literally here all day just be I was home for a few hours took a nap now I'm back I actually get this workout in I've been, I warm up, it's been so much faster. I've been like continually, I put on more weight. That's one thing that has stuck to me, with me as Jamal said, the stronger you get, the, your warm ups have to change. I can't always do the same warm up every time. Going up by a plate all the way till I get to where I need to be. You know, so I get to my weight pretty fast now. So I got this, uh, Got this new grip stuff from Raymond. About to give it a try today. This is uh, Raymond, aka Online Coach. Unicorn grip. Here we go. Got it focused. Got some unicorn grip. So this is the first test. If your if your shit sucks, bro, we're, we're about to find out. It's pink. Oof. Oof. 
We had 6.05, four sets to two. Our top sets today. And then uh, probably we'll drop down. 4.05, go for about like eight to 10 reps. 4.05 right now, uh, as we just finished our 6.05. Uh, uh, more, more so probably just eight reps for 4.05. <laughs> All right, so as you see with the sprint, um, we are focusing on 10 sets of 10 reps. And I love doing these at least three times a week. Um, definitely a good condition type of workout to finish off your workout. Uh, I do these right before I hit abs. And as you see, I'm doing abs right now. Uh, knees up as high as I can. About maybe five reps would be like the highest. This is about slow and controlled. Um, after these, you'll see me do the knee ups with a straight leg lift. Well, not straight leg down, actually. Um, just focused in control. I can only do about three reps of these. I'm 242, so it's pretty hard for me. I'm heavy, and uh, <laughs> it's going to take time for me to perfect these. But standing off, I'm finishing off, sorry, uh, with straight leg lifts. And all of these are about th two to three sets, depending on how you feel. You know, if you got enough energy, three sets. If you don't, two sets, just get it done. Headed back to the crib. Got a shoot tomorrow, seven late, late shoot tomorrow. So I can actually get an earlier midday workout in tomorrow. Uh, actually, we got to move in. <laughs> we got to move out of Airbnb at 10 o'clock, move into our house, our new home uh, at 10.30. So tomorrow's a busy day. Tomorrow's a really busy day. Luckily, it's not like a full, a full move, like a, the whole house, hold on. Like we don't have like all our stuff from our Denver home. We just got all our stuff from Dallas uh, that we were able to keep and kind of just put in the car. So it's not much. I mean, unloading it would take less than an hour for sure. Um, but still just like the, probably gonna end up packing up the cars tonight. So we could just get up in the morning, be ready to drive over to our new home. I'm super excited, yeah, super excited. Let me tell y'all about. Let me tell y'all some shit. What happened, man? Let me tell. Let me tell him. Let me tell him, baby. So, boom. Check this out. So we were supposed to move in right on the 16th. Was it? Yeah. We were supposed to move in on the 16th. Um, but the people that were moving out, I guess I don't know what condition they left the place in. So they had to do some more work, and it got extended to the 19th because they usually said you need like five extra business business days or whatever just in case I want to move out. I'm like, okay, then that should have been the date, not this date. Anyways, okay, so get a call this morning. We're supposed to move in tomorrow. We get a call this morning. Um, I didn't mention when we wanted this place, we switched the, the place we originally wanted. We switched it um, because we wanted white countertops in the kitchen and not black. And that's the reason why we switched to this place. Specifically for these white countertops, they call us today to check on the place and tell Keisha that the, the countertops are dark. They're, they're not the color that we wanted. And so we're just like, and this, we literally supposed to move in tomorrow. And we're like, you know, what the fuck, like, what are you guys doing? What are you, what are you, what are you trying to say? What are you, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, you know, if that's not the case, you need, if that's the case, you need to take them bitches off. What did he say? He said that they changed them? Yeah, he said maintenance wasn't aware they put dark ones in there instead of the white ones. Maintenance wasn't aware. Nah. Yeah, and we... They did dark. He just fucked up. Yeah, he just... I, yeah, he just didn't want to... Like, bro, you just just take the L. Like, you fucked up. Just take that L, bro. Um, Because there's no way they changed the count. If they can change... Nah, there's no way. Um, Anyways. Yeah, so... We're thinking, I mean, we, we just kind of dealt with it. Um, they gave us an amount off for the inconvenience because that's not what we asked for. And, uh, and the place is more expensive than the original. And the place is more expensive than the original, which is, you know, another reason we're like, we were willing to take the higher price because we, you know, came with the countertops we wanted. So, but I think it'll work out because 
these come with the white cabinets and you know babe's a home decor specialist so maybe you know we can try to figure out something with like a you know one of those like a a peel a good a good quality peel on over the counter because it's not much you know it's not like it's a lot all the bathrooms and the kitchen. Well then.